Okay, so I went to Lowe's and I got a seven inch galvanized elbow. Of course, it, it'll straighten out too, but uh, take two hands, but I'm getting ready to burn it. I've already rinsed it off pretty good, try to get that manufacturing oil off there. And how I'm gonna do it is uh, in my burn barrel that I've got here. Yeah, it's my little burn barrel that I've been using my little grill in. It just fits perfectly on top of there. I'm gonna build me a nice fire inside there and uh, burn that elbow real well. And so we can do some cooking inside the elbow. It should be interesting. All right, hang tight. All right, so we've got us a fire blazing in the burn barrel. And I've rotated this around to where it's not an elbow anymore. And uh, we're going to sit it down in there and start the burn. Woo! That's a turbo fire, <clears throat> wind barrel turbo fire situation. All right. Oh wee! Okie dokie. Oh yeah, it's turbo on it. Yep, this won't take very long for this. Now burning the trash can is a different story, but whoo! Alright, we want the inside and the outside, but mainly the inside. Just very well done. Hang tight. Yes indeed, this thing is turbo cooking. Turbo burning. Woo, man. Because the way also I've got my burn barrel, can't really tell, but I've got holes poked all around it. And there's no bottom in it anymore, so it it creates a fire turbo tunnel inside there. But anyway, it's almost done already. Hang tight. Yeah, this thing is definitely turbo burning. But that's what you want. You want that zinc coating to burn off there because it's toxic, just like in a trash can, metal trash can. But, uh, ooh, and that's putting off some toxic smoke, too, so stand down, uh, stand upwind, not downwind, but upwind. All right, and here comes the train. All right, yeah, this, this thing is done. I mean, it's been well over 30 minutes, so I'm just having fun now. So I'm just gonna drop another stick down inside it. Oh, yeah, it's done. Anyway, now we can see, uh, we're going to see what we can cook inside this thing. It would be different. It should be fun. Definitely interesting. All right. Okay. Yeah, this uh, galvanized elbow, is, it's been done. I mean, it was done like 20 minutes because of that turbo fire inside that barrel. But I've just been leaving it in there, and it's been well over an hour, almost two hours, just because. But let's see if we can get this out and set it to, uh, whoo, that's hot. Yes, indeed. Wow. Yeah, it is definitely, definitely done. It's safe to cook in now. Screaming hot. But anyway, that's what you want to do with your galvanized anything that you're going to try to cook in like a trash can but I've never seen anybody try to cook in one of these before and I'm going to give it a shot so we'll see what happens all right hey everyone also uh, just another tip for your campfire yeah I'm going to call this my all-nighter log when I get ready to crash out when I'm camping I mean, that's a good eight, nine inches around. What you want to do to help it catch on and uh, burn throughout the night better is just make scores along it, all around it. Not all the way through, but just, just a couple inches. And that'll help it to catch on and burn better, especially when it's a hardwood. And if it's a big log like this one is, and which is what I call, like I said, the, the all-nighter, right? The one you put on at the very end, that'll help it to catch on and burn better and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, just thought I'd throw that in there. Cool. Peace out.
Hmm. Steak in a stovepipe. That sounds interesting. So yeah, I am going to cook a steak in this stovepipe that was galvanized that I bought from those, but I burnt all the galvanization off there. Seven inches. Seven inch around. Yeah. Really? Steak? Stovepipe? It's sort of interesting. Hang tight. Alright, so here's what we're working with. This is a chuck eye steak. And uh, it's off the same cut as a ribeye. I believe there's 14 ribeyes uh, on a cow and only two chuck eyes to a whole cow. But I mean, it's a great cut of meat. Tender. You can see all the marbling. I've already seasoned one side of it. But uh, I'm going to season this, this side. And all I've done is I've doubled over a piece of aluminum foil to go inside my stove pipe because I don't want this directly on it. And uh, I'm going to season this up and wrap it up. We're going to get it going. All right. Sort of be interesting. All right. So if you're wondering what I seasoned it with, it's a little bit of salt, some black pepper, some hot sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of soy sauce, uh, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And, uh, yep, that was my seasoning for this. And then I'm going to wrap it all up. And a little bit of oil, a little bit of cooking oil, whatever kind. And uh, let's get it going. Yeah. All right. This ought to be interesting. All right. Charcoals are pretty much where I need them to be. There's my chuck eye steak all wrapped up. And there's my stove pipe. Let's see. It's the first time I've tried to do this on a small grill. This works better when you're out and, and you got a regular campfire. So let's see. Let's make us a little, a little groove for that to sit in. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get that something like that. We, we can adjust it as we go. All right. Uh, I think how I'm going to do this. So I'm just gonna sit it right on the charcoal, just like that. I'm gonna adjust it, like I said. Pack the charcoals up in those corners, and let's go ahead put the steak in there. All right, about like so. Yeah. All right. This is going to be interesting. Hang tight. All right. It's been about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's sizzling. Yeah. And actually, because uh, it's the first time I've tried to do it on a, such a small fire and with a stovepipe. Uh, I've got me some more charcoals ready to go, pile up or, around the sides and stuff. But uh, it's sizzling. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Definitely pretty cool, pretty interesting. Huh. We'll see. Hang tight. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it's putting off some heat. Oh yeah. Right. I haven't added any new charcoals yet. Those are still over here getting ready to go. But yeah, there's some heat in there. It's it's doing it. All right. Okay. So I just added those other charcoals and arranged them around with my trusty charcoal tongs. And uh, it's been about 15 minutes since that's been inside there. It is sizzling. And smelling really good, actually. <laughs> and, uh, so let's attempt to flip it over. See if we can do this. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Woo. Yeah, now you can hear it. Oh. Uh, Okey dokey, that is definitely working. This shouldn't take very long. 
I'm not going to leave it too much longer on there. We'll open it up and see what it looks like. Now, it's been about 15 minutes, I think it was. 15, maybe 20. But I just added some new charcoal. And it is cooking. Hang tight. All right. Been about five minutes more. All together, probably about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, I'm thinking this is done because it's smelling good. Let's get it out here and take a look. Uh. Yeah, it's definitely smelling good. Woo. Steamy. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice chuck eye steak. And a stove pipe. There's still enough charcoal to put something else inside there. Maybe a baked potato or a, I mean a potato, you bake it, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's nice. Mm, let's slice off a piece here, shall we? Let's see if we can do this one-handed. have it on a plate it is just whew. yeah that got done pretty quick that was uh I'd say that would be close to well done I like my medium rare but hey stove pipe got some charcoal going on and this is my first stove pipe steak so but it's smelling good and looking good and I'm sure it's going to be good all right, that's pretty cool. Stove pipe steak. That's right. Okay, so that stove pipe steak worked out pretty good. Definitely interesting. Gonna have to do some more recipes uh, using that method. Uh, I did try it. It was good, or is good. Still more of it left, but uh, yeah, I didn't want to make y'all hungry by eating on camera. <laughs> But anyway, if you like my channel, please subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell notification. That way, every time I come out with something new, you'll be notified. Till the next outdoor situation, adventure, have fun, stay safe, peace out.